Let me introduce you to Sandy. Sandy's one of our um, OR pharmacy technicians, ED uh, pharmacy technicians. Sandy, this is Phil. Nice He's to from meet 97 you. One Sandy, of the Drive. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks, Amish. All right, I'll catch up with you in food. Sounds Thank good. You. Now, what do you do here, Sandy? Um, I am basically the lead technician of the OR and the ER uh, department. I take care of pretty much filling medication, case kits, as far as um, patients that go into the surgeries and stuff and fill the medications that are required by the surgeons, by the anesthesiologists, whomever. That's what a case kit is? Yeah, the okay. case kits are mostly, you know, drugs that are required for that particular surgery. Okay. Um, any question, if they call us, we, you know, meet their needs as far as pre-antibiotics, antibiotics that need to be redosed during the surgeries and stuff. And obviously that's different for every situation. Correct. It's, you know, it's all based on patient's weight, uh, any allergies, any type of thing. So it varies. From and you talk to folks like Amish? Correct. And, and doctors as well and nurses? Um, particularly when we deal with the surgery department, um, the nurses, the doctors will request medication. Certain things we fill on an as-need basis. Certain things need to be dosed according to the patient okay. as far as how heavy... How you know is how big the patients are and stuff, and then usually we'll you know call our pharmacist and have them dose. Gotcha. Okay. And how long have you been here at Lutheran General? I've been here for about six years. Okay. And why Lutheran General? It seemed like the ideal place to work. So Phil, did Sandy get you uh, updated on uh, what's going on in she the EDOR satellite? She told me all about this area. This is really, really cool. I yeah, appreciate Sandy's it. been great. Uh, I don't know if she told you, but she recently got promoted, uh, and she's now the lead pharmacy technician for this whole area. So she, you know, decides, uh, you know, in conjunction with me, you know, what we're going to stock here in this pharmacy satellite, how we're going to, you know, develop some protocols and policies for, you know, safe and effective medication use. So she's really done some really great things. So you guys work together that way in helping this whole satellite area just progress to the next level. Oh yes, she's actually definitely taken it to the next level. With We have uh, many medications that actually look alike, you know, and even sound alike, and she's helped with working with me on separating those medications apart and actually putting on uh, special identifiers like, you know, little dots, little uh, colored dots, to make sure they kind of stand out a little bit more so that we don't have, you know, picking errors, you know, because you know, obviously we want to deep, we want to provide the best uh, uh, the best practice is you know we want to decrease our medication error rate as, as, as low as possible right. well that's cool that you're able to do that from an area that you just I mean not that long ago really really became interested in and now you're kind of running with the ball yeah I, I really like I said Mish and I are a good team so anything you know as far as keeping things we like that trust between the pharmacy, the pharmacists, the technicians, and, as well as the doctors and the nurses. So, and we want to keep that going. I don't want the OR, the ER staff just thinking, you know, oh, pharmacy, pharmacy, and stuff. I want them to actually develop a relationship with us where they can also count on us for anything that they desire. Cool. All right, group hug, everybody, right now. Aww.